Hello there. I became a cautionary tale of working over a hundred hours <coughs> on YouTube and my daytime job, so you don't have to develop an eating disorder. Let's go. For dear viewers who have been expecting my weekly storytelling chapter four, I have to apologize, and I'll explain why. First, uploading schedule. I will change from a weekly upload to fortnightly upload. One video every two weeks. So so chapter 4 will be next Friday on March the 4th and chapter 5 will be two weeks from then, March the 18th. Why I make the change? I make storytelling video. I tell story and I act them out. And I make one video, one chapter every week. Number talk. Here's how much time I spent on my video. For chapter 2, I spent about 58 hours. And chapter 3, I spent over 60 hours. Okay. It sounds high, but not that high. It's like a normal 40 hour week, plus maybe 2 hours a day, and sometime over the weekend. It's tangible. Here's the catch. That number doesn't include my full-time day job. If you add my full-time day job, in the week of chapter 2, I work 90 hours, and in the week of chapter 3, I work over 100 hours. That was brutal. Over 16 hours. Day, two weeks straight. My typical 16 hour workday would start at 9 am until 6 30 pm for my day job, and then from 8 pm until 4 am for the night video. On the day of video release, I would work up to 19 hours straight, like non stop. From the moment I woke up, I just quickly rush into the bathroom to just brush my teeth, rinse myself in cold water, and then just set out. Work. Around 10 a.m. is when I told myself you know, drumming. I ignored it completely. Throughout that 19 hour work, I completely skipped all my meals. I just drank water and I kept going. When your body is was in intense focus mode and you enjoy what you do, like your body got numb and you feel almost as if you're anesthetized. I remember a point my heart just it's like it was dropped. Someone just squeezed it really hard and I was scared. I thought about being young and getting a stroke. I work all the way until 1 a.m. I start feeling sleepy. Around 3 a.m. the body reset to a new cycle. I didn't feel sleepy at all. Walking, walking, walking until 4 a.m. go to bed. I even dreamed of getting feedback for my videos and working on the feedback. I lost my appetite. I ate less and less and less. When I did eat, I would be standing eating just so I could get it over with. Up to a point when I start feeling repulsed by the food. To be honest, looking back, had I kept on with it, I would probably develop an eating disorder. So this whole torture went on for 13 days. On the 14th day, which was Sunday morning, I woke up, checked chapter 3 in the Vietnamese version, and oh my, it was, it was a disaster. The sound was missing all over the place. I didn't have time, I just barely made it. I, I finished editing, I just export them, I just upload them right away without reviewing them. And uh, I crushed. That Sunday morning, I, I talked to my parents. And I talked to my two friends. <laughs> I finally realized that trying to keep up with a weekly schedule is the most toxic and juvenile idea ever. I should just upload it with a time frame that fit my schedule and my story. Instead of running after these unwritten rules of YouTube, I would rather upload a video that I'm proud of in a healthy state of mind than a messy work that sent me to the edge of a tall building. So I guess that's the crazy story about working 100 hours and going nuts. After two weeks, really don't do it. You're gonna crush, you're gonna develop an eating disorder. You might even get a stroke. You would rather have people who actually appreciate what you put out than putting out instant noodle content. Stop worrying and just do what you can.